try and do it in four steps. So the first step of doing a butterfly kick is the footwork. Now traditionally, we would turn into it this way, but I'm gonna teach you how to do it statically. And you can add the turning if you want to. So we're gonna start facing one way, all our body facing this way. We're gonna turn our hips to face the front. We're gonna turn our hips to the other side, lifting this leg off. It's gonna turn all the way around. I'm gonna swap my feet and then I'm gonna stand back up again like this, yeah? So one more time, first step, start this way, turn front, turn towards back, lifting my leg up, swap my leg, turn and just stand up. Now sometimes it'll go here, sometimes it'll go here, it doesn't really matter as long as you catch yourself. So that's the first step, understanding the footwork. Two of a butterfly kick is understanding what we're gonna do with these shoulders. Now I'm gonna teach you the tricking way and I'm gonna explain in step three which type of B kick you will want to get. So step two, shoulders, they're gonna start down. Start up, come down. We turn around, keeping our shoulders down. Footwork's still the same. As I'm turning here, I'm gonna lift my leg up. Swap my leg, keeping my shoulders down, and then I keep turning all the way back up. Yeah, and stand up right at the end. What I don't wanna do is start this way, set my shoulders down, come all the way around, and then stand up here. Don't want to do that, you'll scare yourself. Yeah, here, turn, leg up, swap your leg, keep your shoulders down, now stand up. Yeah, so that's step two. So, step three of a butterfly kick is understanding what to do with these things that are attached to you. Yeah, now we've used our shoulders, we've used our feet, so my arms are going to come up like this, I'm going to come down with my body, my arms are going to come around kind of like this, and body's going to come up, I'm going to swap and then I'm gonna stand up again. This is very important, is your arms, for learning a B twist, which is a more advanced move of a B kick. So it's important, here, turn, hop, and then come around. So we're learning how to use the arms. So step four of butterfly kick is doing the butterfly kick. Now I did say that we were going to learn the different types of butterfly kick in step three, but we're gonna do it now that we've learned how to do a butterfly kick. So at this point, if we've done step three, and you put a little bit more power into it, so I'm here, put power into it, yeah, I should end up with a butterfly kick. Now, there's two different types. Now I'm gonna to turn to do it the other way, so you can see my head positioning. If I wanna do traditional Chinese wushu, butterfly kick, I wanna lift my head up, yeah? So I'm gonna start here, I'm gonna come down. As I jump, I arch my back, so I look this way, and then I do it. So I'll do a traditional Chinese one. The other way of doing it is a tricking one, which is you don't lift your head up. And eventually, the more and more you do it, the more inverted you can make it, and then it will automatically become an undercutting aerial, yeah? So, again, this is just the normal one. I looked up. Let me try that again. Don't look up, Chris. Don't look up. There we go. Step four of a butterfly kick.